Hello again, Onky Tonks. What on earth is Nigel Farage playing at? If there's anyone who should know in Parliament or in Britain what it feels like to be thrown under the bus, being lied about, being demonised, being villainised, being misquoted, misrepresented, displaced, it's Nigel Farage. So why on earth would he do that to Tommy Robinson? Now, regardless of how you feel about Tommy Robinson, one thing's for sure, he's never called for violent riots. He's never told people to kick off. He's never told people to attack the police, um, burn, loot, rob, cause trouble, never. On social media, he has always said, and I've seen it myself, um, if you're going to these demonstrations, do so peacefully, like everyone else has. So there's 30 odd demonstrations planned. I think it's either today or the whole of this week. Who's planning them? Where they're being planned? I don't know. But somebody somewhere is just... Somebody wants trouble. Now, whether it's the thugs who are drawn to these events, like magnets, in order to cause trouble and kick off and just be louts, or it's the government themselves in order to draw them out, to uh, imprison them and innocent people plus use it as an excuse to enforce draconian invasive government policies who knows but they're coming for our freedom of speech now they really are uh, and Nigel Farage to be doing this is just baffling now he either truly dislikes Tommy Robinson he did say he left UKIP because of Tommy Robinson he told Gerard Batten either Tommy Robinson or me Gerard Batten chose Tommy Robinson and then the rest is history. Uh, Nigel Farage left, or so the story goes. Or Nigel Farage holds exactly the same sentiments as Tommy Robinson and the rest of us and he just doesn't want to get the establishment cave in on him because he's managed to get into Parliament with his party reform and he's trying to do things right and just play the game. Who knows? But like I've just mentioned to you, they are really coming for our free speech now. They want to fast forward this online harm bill and they want X taken out because uh, <coughs> Elon Musk, the owner, has come out on the people's side, of course. They don't like that, do they? And they've been after Elon Musk and X ever since he took over anyway. Remember, it used to be their echo chamber. Now it's a place of free speech and they hate it. They've said, haven't they, the lefties, oh, if he takes over, we're off. They're still there. Why? But this is what it's all about, folks. It's all about control. It's all about dominating what we think, what we say. And as I've said in a previous video, it's all about bringing in a social credit system. They've got control of our money. We are cashless. Uh, you have to pay with your card. Now, they can control that with the social credit system. And then there's free speech, of course. And social media is the biggie that they all want their hands on. And if the government can control your speech, then they'll control you and then it's game over. Folks, you know it, it's true. But of course, the mainstream media and the government, they need their bogeymen, don't they? They've got them in Tommy Robinson, Lawrence Fox, Cal Benjamin, um, and other free speech advocates on social media. They're coming for them heavily, especially Tommy Robinson. They're hell bent on blaming him for these riots. Even uh, resident champagne socialist in LBC, the home of left-wing bigotry, James O'Brien, has called these riots the Farage riots. Of course, Farage hasn't instigated anything. He's never advocated for any violence or any riots, for that matter. They just, they just need their bogeymen in order to push these invasive, draconian um, legislations through and make them law in order to control you and control me and lock up the bad guys. That's what they're after. That's what it's all about. And again, for Nigel Farage to throw Tommy Robinson under the bus, whether it's a game plan or not, I don't know, but he should know better. I'm still a Farage fan. Uh, I'm still on board with reform. We need reform in Parliament. So I, I don't really understand this tactic. Can you shed light on it? Let me know in the comments. And there we go. I'm Paz49. Thanks for watching. And until the next time, Roger Trout.